Hello everyone, welcome. It's January 16th. It's another Wellness Wednesday here in beautiful El Paso where I live and wherever you are as well. Um, I'm Carrie Donahue, your wellness coach, and I'm here to bring you a little bit more something to, to improve your wellness today. Um, just a reminder that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a, a certified fitness instructor. I'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist. Um, I am not in any way certified to, to dive deep with you and assist you in very specific things that I'm not qualified to teach. What I am here to do though is to show you what I have learned through personal development, through doing my own things. Um, these are very real things that I've practiced myself and that I've seen others practice as well. Um, and I'm bringing them to you to hopefully help move you forward um, in your wellness journey. So today I wanna to talk to you, I'm just gonna dive right in. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about goals, okay? Um, because as, as it's the middle of the month, right? It's January 16th, a lot of people set resolutions or maybe goals, maybe, maybe you were like, yeah, resolutions don't really work anymore, but I set one goal you know, to get to the end of this month not drinking soda or I, you know, whatever it is, you set goals and they can be small. They can be very short term or they can be larger. They can be, you know, something that spans you the, the course of the year. Um, if you've been goal setting for a while, maybe you have five year and 10 year goals. Um, but you have, you probably have at least at some point, if not at the beginning of this year, at least at some point in your life set goals. Um, so I want to give you some very, um, real actionable steps to help you because often, so now it's the middle of the month, often we get to a point, um, at some point after we've set our goals, right? And, and we've devised our plan of how we're going to get to our goals. So let's just say, for example, it's a fitness goal, right? Your goal is to start this new program and you, you obviously have in mind what you want to look like or how many pounds you want to lose or, or how many, or how much muscle you want to gain or whatever it is, how much health you want to improve, uh, by a certain time. But, but generally speaking, we can break your goal down to, I'm starting this program and I want to finish it. I want to get through the whole six weeks. Um, so you set a goal to do that, to improve your eating, to, to work out every day that you're supposed to work out that's on the calendar, um, and, and to stick with it, and to get from day one to day 32, or whatever, day 42, if it's a six-week program. Um, that's your goal. Your goal is, is to get from here to there. Okay. And so, you know, that's what your goal is. Maybe you wrote it down. Maybe you didn't write it down. Um, but you get to even, for example, especially someone just starting their fitness journey, you get to day three, like it is today for me and my, and my crew who just started a brand new program on Monday, you get to day three and things start to pop up that are going to get in your way. Hurdles. Um, sabotages, whatever it is. So for example, I talked to my group today about, you know, let's make sure that we're ready to tackle the rest of the week. We got to day three and that's awesome. Um, but maybe, maybe you're feeling run down. Maybe you're not drinking enough water. Maybe you're dehydrated because you're feeling run down. Maybe you're really sore right now and you need to do a stretching workout, even though it's not the end of the week. You Maybe you just need to stretch out those muscles so that you can feel a little bit better in the morning and, and hit the ground running on day four. Maybe you've run out of food. Maybe you meal prepped like a pro over the weekend, um, but it didn't last as long as you thought it was going to. And maybe you've started to run out of healthy snacks and you need to make a quick trip to the store to grab a couple more things so that you don't go for the stuff that your family's still eating because we know that husbands and kids don't always just jump on board when we do. And so their stuff is still there. Their stuff is easy to grab and go. If you're lacking your healthy foods, the problem is, is that their stuff is not going to get you to the goals that you want. So whatever it is, we get to a, a point, right, where we lose track, maybe lose track of our goals. 
And, and, you know, maybe it's because of all these obstacles. Maybe it's just literally you set a goal to get up in the morning before your kids do. So you're getting up a half hour earlier so you can run into the bathroom, get your 20 minute workout done before anybody else has a chance to interrupt you. But now it's day four and gosh, that snooze button sounds so good. It just, it, it just would be so nice to get that extra sleep. It just would be so nice to, to eat that piece of candy that's at your office. It would just be so nice to have a piece of bread. It would just be so nice to whatever it is. We lose sight of our, I, I, I'm going to break it down to something very simple. We lose sight of our goals. We really do. We, we get distracted from, from this goal that we've set for ourselves, even if it's just a week out, even if it's just a week out or a month out, or, you know, maybe it's a year out, that's a far distance away. And we wrote that goal back here, but we haven't done anything else along the way to remind ourselves of what our goal is. So we get distracted and our brain reverts to what do I want now? Because, because this goal that I have, I know it's going to take a while to get to it. Delayed gratification of reaching our goals. It's going to take a while to get the gratification of reaching our goals, of sticking to it every day and finally making it to where we want to go. And we want immediate grat gratification. We're, we're just hardwired to want what's quick and what's easy and what's now. What's going to give me that gratification now? And for a lot of us that especially have, have just, you know, food comfort issues, we reach for the pint of ice cream. We reach for the, the chocolates. We reach for um, the, the big bowl of salty potato chips or, or, you know, deep fried French fries or whatever it is. We reach for those things that, that we feel comforted by in the moment. We hit that snooze button because it comforts me in the moment to know I'm going to get an extra half hour of sleep, but it doesn't get us closer to our goals. So how do we fix that? I, I have a full schedule. Like I, I have my schedule down to where in the morning I have a planner where I plan out my day and I write down my goals every single day. I write them down there in the forefront of my mind because I'm a seasoned pro at getting up at ridiculous hours of the morning. <laughs> and doing my workout like that's that's become a habit to me that's second nature that's not necessarily going to help you if you can't get up a half hour early to get your workout in it's not going to help you to get up to for me to say get up in the morning and the first thing you should do is write down your goals so what i want you to do actually is have a little notebook and it so it doesn't have to you know it doesn't even have to be this big i have a giant notebook you know um but something with blank pages. It can, be, it can be one of those little grocery shopping list, flippy notebooks, okay, where you can tear out the pages if you really want to. It can be a, a notepad. It can be, you know, it can be like a, a, a notebook that your kids go to school with, whatever it is. Just put a, a notebook of some sort or notepad of some sort next to your bed, okay? Got this tip from Shanti. And every night before you go to bed, first of all, congratulate yourself for the amazing work that you did that day. Feel grateful to yourself. Thank yourself. Say thank you, Carrie, or thank you, you know, whatever your name is. Thank you for doing an amazing job today. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take that notebook paper, that notebook that you have next to your bed, and I want you to write down what your goal is, why that's your goal, and what you can do tomorrow, the next day, to reach a little bit further, take that next step, get a little bit closer to that goal, okay? Writing down your goal gets it in the forefront of your mind again, okay? If we wrote down a goal, and, and let's just say you didn't even write it down, but let's you know, cause that's possible. You're like, you set a goal, but you didn't actually write it down. But let's just say you did write it down at the beginning of your journey and you're going along and you're forgetting about that goal. Like I said, your, you, your brain is hardwired to want what's now. 
and what can comfort you now. And so you forget about that goal. So by writing that goal every single night before you go to bed, it puts it back in the front of your mind. What you focus on is what expands. What you focus on is what expands. So if you're not focusing anymore on what that goal is, then it's not going to expand. It's not going to stick with you. It's not going to stay very, you know, hard, fast in your life. Okay. So you write down that, down that goal. So it's in the forefront of your mind so that what you focus on is what expands. Then you remind yourself of why. I'm doing this because I know, even though it's hard sometimes, I know that I can't pour from an, from, an, ugh, from an empty cup. I know that my kids deserve better. I know that I have an even shorter fuse with my kids when I haven't poured into myself for the day. I snap at them faster. I'm a little bit more composed when I've filled my cup, when I've done what I need to do to feel good. I'm a better mom. I'm a better wife. I'm a better daughter. I'm a better sister. I'm a better whatever. When I fill my cup first, I know that by doing this, by getting to this goal, even though it might not be my end goal, that someday I might set another goal to get even further in whatever area of life I want, that by getting to this goal, I'm going to be one step closer to being the level of person that I want to be, to being the level of health that I want to be. I'm going to get one step closer to having years added onto my life. And my kids deserve that because I want to be around for their kids. I want to be a grandma. I don't want to be, you know, 45 years old and winded walking from here across the street to go play with my kids. I don't want that. I want health. I want fitness because of all of these reasons. So you're writing down your goals to keep them in the forefront of your mind and you're writing down your why. Because when you remember your why, it's bigger than you. Okay? It, that's the thing that fills you with purpose and with passion so that you're, it's not just this is what I want, but it starts to warm your heart like, yes, I want this, I want this through the pain. I want this through the hard work. I want this through the struggle because my purpose for doing this is so much greater than a size. It's so much greater than a weight. It's so much greater than a tiny little number. It's about something so much more, right? And then you plan because getting up in the morning when you're not a seasoned pro at getting up at ridiculous hours of the morning, like I am planning, do writing down those things that you know are the things that you at least need to do helps you when you, when, when that alarm goes off in the morning and you're like, Oh, I really, you know, I really, really, really wish I had that 30 extra minutes of sleep. You're like, no, wait a minute. This is my goal. This was my why. And this is my plan. My plan is I definitely have to get that 20 minute workout done. I definitely have to not reach for my family's snacks, but go to the dang store and get my own snacks again. If I ran out, I definitely need to make sure that I have, I, I set aside enough time to cook a healthy dinner. I definitely need to make sure that I'm tracking how much water I'm drinking throughout the day, right? Whatever it is, you have a plan so that when you, that alarm goes off in the morning, you don't have to think extra hard because goodness knows it is so hard to think when that alarm clock goes off in the morning. So you have a plan before you go to bed so that when you get up in the morning, it's super easy. And you really, all you have to do then is run to the bathroom real quick get in your workout space, get your 20 minute workout done and hit the day running. Okay. So that's my advice for you today is have a notebook by your bed, write down those three things every night before you go to bed. It's only going to take you like two or three minutes to write down what your goal is, 
because you're going to be doing it over, over and over again. And don't just cop out and be like, oh, well, I wrote that last night. No, there's something that happens, okay? It's, it's not just a matter of reading through it. There's something that happens when you kinetically move your body, okay, and you're writing something down. It moves it from your brain to a piece of paper, and now it's out in the world, and now you've made a promise to yourself. If all you're doing is reading what you wrote the day before or three days ago or four days ago, that's not really, like, there's there, the synapses that can fire between, you know, brain cells don't fire just reading. But when you write it down again and again and again and again, there's connections made in your brain that aren't made by reading, okay? So write it down. Don't be a lazy woman or man. Write it down every single night, even if you look back at the page before and you write down the exact same words that you wrote down the day before. Doesn't matter. As long as you write it down, take two or three minutes to write it down. Your goals, your purpose, your reason why you, you have these goals, and your plan for the following day. Okay? Do these things and set yourself up for success so that this is the time this is the goal that you don't quit on that even if you stumble even if you miss a day that this is going to get you back into it that much faster so that you don't quit so that you keep moving forward no matter how rocky no matter how ugly it is that you're still stay taking steps forward okay Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Wellness Wednesday. I hope this helps and you have an awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your week. Bye.